Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the impact of energy insecurity. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Energy insecurity is where supplies of energy sources are unreliable. For example, they may be interrupted or prices may fluctuate with the potential for blackouts. It has many impacts. The first one is a decrease in global food production. About 30% of global energy is used to produce food, for example to power farm machinery, for storage and for transportation, and to manufacture fertilisers and pesticides. Less energy means less food can be produced, which in turn has an impact on food security. Some farmers have recently opted for alternatives to expensive fossil fuels to generate the energy needed for production, for example by using biofuels, However, this still makes food production costly and food prices have increased as a result. In many LICs, firewood is the main source of energy. Often people have to walk miles to collect it, like the people in the photo collecting firewood in Vietnam to cook with. This means that they spend less time farming, which again affects food security. Our second impact of energy insecurity is reduced industrial output. The demand for energy for industry is high. Fossil fuels are used as a source of power, but also as a raw material for some products. For example, oil is a main raw material of plastics and many cosmetics and toiletries. Many LICs and NEEs experience frequent blackouts, which halt industrial production, and they are very costly to the economy. Such outages can result in smaller companies having to shut permanently as they can't recoup the lost hours of production in terms of the cost. Our next impact of energy security is the potential for conflict. It is common for conflict to be fuelled when one country holds a bigger share of an energy resource. There has been conflict in the Middle East for years over who has access to the region's oil fields and the inequality of energy security, which at times has led to full-scale wars. For example, the Iran-Iraq War between 1980 and 88 and the Gulf War of 1990-91, with countries fighting to control energy sources. During Operation Desert Storm in 1991, Iraqi troops set fire to oil wells in Kuwait to disrupt the energy supply and cause economic harm, which you can see on the screen. The most obvious example of energy conflict currently is Russia, which has about one quarter of the world's supply of natural gas. This means that it can threaten to raise prices or even cut off supplies to countries that are dependent on its gas supplies. For years, there have been disputes over the pipeline that moves gas from Russia to European markets via Ukraine. This has been made even more complex by the current Russian-Ukrainian conflict, where many states have refused to buy Russian energy resources as a protest. As a result, the demand for oil and gas from other suppliers has led to an increase in wholesale prices. Energy companies have passed on these increases to consumers, and we can see our domestic energy bills skyrocketing as a result. This leads nicely onto our next impact, which is fluctuating wholesale prices. If you have to rely on other countries to meet your demand for energy, it then means that you are at risk of rising costs resulting from a fluctuation in the international wholesale price of different fuels or energy. For example, in April 2022, prices began to soar at petrol stations up and down the country. This was caused by an increase in the price of crude oil, which is the raw material used to make petrol and diesel. Crude oil had been much cheaper during the COVID pandemic as demand for energy collapsed due to so many businesses being closed. Once life began to return to normal, the demand for energy rose rapidly, with competition between farming, industry, transportation and domestic users, where suppliers struggled to keep up with this demand, pushing the prices up further. The cost of oil is also based on the dollar, so when the pound falls in value against the dollar, it makes the cost of petrol and diesel even more expensive. If countries were more self-sufficient in meeting their own energy needs, their industries wouldn't be so affected by volatility in the price of energy, and nor would their population. Our last impact of energy insecurity is the exploitation of environmentally sensitive areas. A lack of energy security can result in a country deciding to exploit resources in environmentally vulnerable areas, with the potential to cause long-term harm. 
For example, widespread deforestation of tropical rainforests to make way for biofuel plantations or flooding valleys in order to construct hydroelectric power plants, such as the Three Gorges Dam in China, which had a huge impact along the River Yangtze in terms of biodiversity. One region at risk of environmental harm due to resource exploitation is the Arctic. Drilling for oil and gas takes place here despite the environment being really fragile and recovery from damage is very slow due to the low temperature and the short growing season. In the 1960s, vast reserves of oil were discovered onshore close to the northern coast of Alaska and oil production began in the late 1970s, producing around 2 million barrels a day. The 800 kilometer Trans-Alaska Pipeline, which you can see on the screen, was constructed to transfer oil to the south coast port of Valdez as ice in the northern seas meant that oil tankers couldn't get close to the coastline. The pipeline was fairly complicated to construct because of the permafrost, meaning that the pipeline had to be raised off the ground and mounted on stilts, which were 11 meters deep. So any heat from the pipeline wouldn't be able to melt the ground. But where it goes through tundra land, which is part of the caribou migration route, it has been placed underground to prevent disturbance to these animals and is very well insulated to prevent the permafrost below it from melting, but also to stop the oil from freezing, which could lead to pipes bursting. So it's been a really delicate operation in a very delicate region, which has the potential to cause huge environmental harm. In terms of oil, there are some really serious environmental issues here, particularly the risk of oil spills. In 2006, a broken pipeline caused 1 million litres to spill out over the northern slope region of Alaska, which is an ecologically sensitive area. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the impacts of energy insecurity. Thank you for watching.